Hello, I'm Julia Fisher. Welcome to this week's edition of The Olive Tree, the programme that asks the question, what is God doing in Israel and the Palestinian areas today? And where do we, as Christians, fit in? Perhaps you have visited Israel, or perhaps you'd love to visit Israel. But why? What's your motivation? What's your dream? Would you go to just see the land where Jesus and the prophets walked? Or would you go to visit the believers, both Jews and Palestinians, who live there now? My guest today is Labib Madinat, Executive Director of Bible Society work in both Israel, the West Bank and Gaza. Originally from a Jordanian family, he's a Palestinian Christian living in Jerusalem with his wife and family. He's responsible for work amongst both Jews and Arabs. It's an enormous job working with Muslims on the one hand and Orthodox religious Jews on the other. Having known Labib for many years and followed his journey, I can tell you that he's a man who carries God's heart for the entire region and for both peoples. He speaks both Arabic and Hebrew fluently, as well as several other languages. He moves easily between the various communities, respecting and understanding their strong feelings of identity. He feels the pain of both people, but, as you will hear, refuses to allow self-pity any room in his thinking, preferring to identify only with Christ. He's passionate about sharing the gospel with whoever he meets and has a gentle manner that puts people at their ease as he unashamedly shares his faith in Israel's Messiah. Recently, I took a group to Israel and we met with Labib. Here he explains how important it is that we have the right attitude in our hearts when we visit the Holy Land and inquire about what's happening there. Outside the walls of Jerusalem, we're going to go through Zion. Uh, Christians coming to visit Israel come with a desire to experience the past. Stories in the Bible, our heritage, our land, like any believer in Jesus coming to this land, I tell them, welcome home, because Jesus' place is your place. So there is this connection to the past. All people come here with excitement about the future, the end times, how will it all wrap up, seeing the places where all of the uh, great events will unfold. And so we look to the future. But when they land and come here, many times they are hit with the reality of today. And uh, kind of like the connect, connecting the past and the future becomes such a impossible task. But between the past and the future, there is something living now. Mm -hmm. And you have been connecting to this living thing, the body of Christ here in the land. And I think this is where God's heart is. God's heart is with his people. They are the ones who will carry out his heart, whether to the Jewish people, to the Arabs, the Palestinians, to anybody else. And if we fail God, wow, it's tough. It'll be very tough if we fail God. The question is not only the church here, the body of Christ here, for their own sake. It's also about God's heart, His plans, His vision, His desire, what He wants to do in this precious place now. Now, we also here in the land can be so consumed with ourselves only and not with what's on God's heart. We can be so busy with ourselves that we miss that stewardship which is given to us. And my prayer is that in fellowship with the Spirit of God, we all reconnect together to what God wants to do. Iron sharpen irons, positively, not negatively talking. And your visits to us here 
with this one heart coming and telling us we love you both messianic believers and palestinian christians we love you both the same we embrace you together you are our family here you bring us closer you remind us again of our identity because there are lots of things here that want either to separate us or to distract us from that awareness that we are one family children always want the attention of their mom and dad for their own not for their sibling I want your attention I want your attention and we can we can go into that we can fall into that sometimes we want the attention we want to be recognized we want the candies we want the sweets we want the special treats but it is not about also giving candies and sweets for nice kids there is destiny there is vision there is calling and to come and encourage us and hold us accountable even i dare say to the calling upon our lives this is the kind of fellowship i look forward to with christians from all over the world for me you are not a target to recruit more support for palestinian christians if this is my target then i'm betraying the heart of god you are our family to re enforce the family values the jesus family values together because if our hearts are not reconciled we cannot minister reconciliation if our hearts are not baptized with the love of god we cannot bring love that brings healing to this land so tortured we cannot we cannot give in in christ we can never give something which is not in us we we can we can we can do the things we can say the words but it will be fruitless but once we are because in in i believe in christian ministry there is reproduction we reproduce ourselves into the others it flows life flows through us Labib Madanat, Executive Director of Bible Society Work in Israel, the West Bank and Gaza, talking to our Olive Tree Fund tour group in Jerusalem recently. As we listened intently to what Labib was saying, you could hear a pin drop. His attitude of love and reconciliation is not the usual attitude you hear on the streets where conflict and argument are more commonplace, as we had experienced firsthand earlier in the day. But Labib didn't leave the group without hope. He went on to explain how it can be achieved. It's it's a spiritual thing. Honestly, it is something that has to be it's, it's 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 something in the heart, it's something in the mind, it's something in the emotions. It's something even the way our minds would process information will have to change, the renewed mind. And then anything I do will reflect who I am in Christ. So I don't only live the reconciliation when I am in fellowship with my Jewish brother. No. I live the reconciliation with my Jewish brother when I am in Gaza ministering to Muslims as well. I carry the same heart. I minister. I live that reconciliation. I live this unity. I live God's heart. of love to my muslim brother when i am with my jewish brothers in christ as well 
Labib Madanat, and we'll hear more from him soon. You're listening to The Olive Tree with me, Julia Fisher, the programme that brings you the voices of Arab and Jewish believers living in Israel and the West Bank today to give you insight and understanding of what life is like for them. If, having listened to Labib Madanat, you'd like to help in some way, then let me tell you about the Olive Tree Reconciliation Fund, a small registered charity based in the UK, whose vision it is to build bridges of understanding and support in a spirit of reconciliation between believers in the Holy Land and Christians worldwide. For many years, I've travelled to Israel and the West Bank regularly as a writer and broadcaster, and more recently as a tour leader. In an effort to try and understand the complexity of Israel, at the back of my mind there's always been one question. What is God doing there? In looking for answers to this simple, almost naive question, I've been drawn towards people like Labib, people who are true reconcilers, Jews and Palestinians who understand their Bibles and enjoy fellowship together. There's great need amongst these people, and the Olive Tree Reconciliation Fund is continually identifying these needs and making them known to Christians in the nations. We want to stand by our brothers and sisters there and show we care by sending financial and practical support and by visiting them as often as we can. If you'd like information about the work of the Olive Tree Reconciliation Fund, please visit our website, www.olivetreefund.org or you can email inquiries at olivetreefund.org or write to me, Julia Fisher, The Olive Tree Reconciliation Fund, P.O. Box 850, Horsham, RH12, 9GA. I look forward to hearing from you. That's all we've time for today. Thank you for your company. Do join me at the same time next week for more news from The Olive Tree. Until then, goodbye.